Hello everybody, my goal today is to give you a quick demonstration of how you can start using the business application table that's part of the common service data model. Type CSDM in your navigator. Everybody should find this because it's part of the core installation. If you have any ServiceNow module, you have entitlements to populate any of these tables. It's all part of the common service data model. The one we're going to talk about today is business applications. The purpose of the business application table is to register all of your compliance positions. That means is all of the applications that you've licensed, it's a way to track it inside of ServiceNow. Google Suite is an application type of COTS. There's no platform host for it. It is the platform host itself, which means it's a platform that runs other things. Google Suite is the platform host, and you can see that Google Drive is one of the platform applications that runs on that Google Suite platform. We're gonna talk about those different types of things that we can put in the system. And then I'm gonna give you a way to import a bunch of the data. If you look, these are the core fields that we'll want up top right now. And this one is optional. Application category doesn't come into play until later, but I left it in for those of you that have APM. If you don't have APM, we're gonna take this one out of the spreadsheet tracking their application somewhere today. So if you can get it to a spreadsheet, the best way is just going to be map it into the ServiceNow tables. So if you click on import, it'll let you build a template and it'll give you all of the columns that are possible inside of the business applications. I'm going to recommend that you just start with that core set that we showed in the beginning. I'm going to show you a file that has those in there and I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to use that. The file on the right, it has my first app, and that's a homegrown application. There's no platform host. We're gonna say it's a web-based architecture type. And what I did in the spreadsheet, I'm gonna provide this spreadsheet with the video. I pre-populated some of these. The architecture type and the platform host, I put those columns down here so that you at least had a starting point and you could see what we have in the template. So it's a little bit more than a regular template because I do give you all these options in the application category and some of the other areas. So at least you'll see how you can use that spreadsheet yourself by taking these selections that I put in and making them your own. What you'll see is some of the out of the box selections here now that you can use. Upload that data. And when I click on that, you'll see I only have the one application in there right now. And that'll take my application type is all the fields that I have in here is what's in that record. In order to go ahead and do the import, all the way at the bottom of this, if we scroll down, complete import, and that should import my first app into the business application table. And if we open that my first app, you'll see that I have that minimum set of data populated. And then later we can add on other things. These are some of the defaults it'll take. So this is another drop down. A little bit of a caveat with application category. It, this application category is part of APM. If you do not have APM yet, you want to delete this column to get started and just use these one, two, three, four, five columns as your starting point. If we do want to bring something in that has a platform host, the example I showed you was Google Suite earlier, but if we have a certain platform host, you want to be able to name that inside of here. So if I go in and my, oh, I'm just going to say my second app, this is going to run on a platform. Say this is going to be a homegrown one that we're running on a platform. And the architecture type is going to be a platform application. If it's a platform application, go ahead and import this on my second app. So if I go back to where we were, come back up top and I say, let's go ahead and import that same file again. And it should give me an error on this second column. Here it says platform host field is empty. Cannot set architecture type to platform application. Here is put in the platform host. So my second app, let's say I'm going to run that application on the ServiceNow platform host. I could put ServiceNow in here as the platform host that I'm running the application on. Let's go ahead and try that again. Choose my file and I'm going to upload it. Once we do the preview and once we complete the import, that we'll be able to specify that as a platform host. Now we can see that my second app is imported. If I go back to all, you'll see that I have my first app and then my second app with ServiceNow as the platform host on this one. 
of a piece of advice might be that you first want to take all of your platform hosts and import those on one, one sheet. So if you have ServiceNow and you have PeopleSoft, all of the big platforms that you're using, you might want to load those first. And then you can create a list of platform hosts similar to what I did here in the directions. Create a data list that will let me specify my platform hosts. And this way it makes it really easy to import all of the platform applications that are running on those platform hosts. Once we get all this base data in, you can start using the IT application owners as people to validate the rest of the data. We we'll also have another feature and it's called data certification. If we go to data certification, everybody should have this. You're able to create data certification tasks and those tasks can go out and now ask the IT platform owners, you can create tasks for them to populate new data. I'll look at some of the scheduled definitions and underneath CMDB CI business app. So this is a certification that we run on demand and what the certification can do is you can specify the fields that you want the application owners to fill out and you can send them a task to do that. For this one, it's saying send out to the CMDB CI business app, asking them to make sure these fields are valid. And you'll see that you can schedule these so that every six months you're asking the IT application owners to keep the data up to date. But the first thing you have to do is populate that core table. So using those core models in CSDM, and then using the data certification features as part of the platform, you can not only build that business application table, but also keep it up to date. And that's it for now. I'm gonna share this Excel file. It's attached to the video, and you should have all you need to start populating your business application table. Thank you very much.